Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Blastercated Painting. Today we're going to very quickly paint up Din Djarin from Star Wars Legion because it just came out and videos do better when you do things uh, that just came out. Here we go. So we're just taking a quick little break from Monster Month just so I can do this video for Din Djarin. Um, today is the first night of our charity haunted house that we're running at my house and uh, I really don't have time for this. But I'm going to do it anyway and ignore my family. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to give this guy a Zenithal highlight. And then we are going to move on to Darkwood from the Army Painter. So this is going to go on his uh, boots. Also his uh, pants. Basically the entire undersuit of the armor. This is also going to go on the uh, base part of his gloves. I don't know. Everything but the finger of his gloves. And not on the plate on the top. And we're going to take some snake bite leather and this is going to go on the wrappings around the calves. It's going to go on the belt around his waist and the bandolier around his shoulder. It's also going to go on the tips of his fingers and the two straps that he has going across his uh, biceps. We're going to take a 50-50 mix of Space Wolves Grey and Gravelord Grey and this is going to go on that fantastic uh, cape that he has. We're going to take some chainmail silver and this is just going to go on the uh, bullets that he has in his bandoliers. Next we're going to take some gun metal here and this is going to go on his gun and on his belt buckle. We're going to take some black legion contrast paint and this is going to go in his visor. Now we're not too concerned if we spill over here because we're going to be painting the helmet anyway. Then we're going to take some of this uh, brown earth texture and that's just going to go on the base. We might as well do this now so that it can dry while we're also painting other stuff, just to save time. <coughs> now we're going to take some silver and this is going to go on all the armor pieces that we haven't painted except for the pieces at the very top of his gloves. Those are going to be a different color. Then we're going to take some Gravelord Gray and we're going to thin this down. Um, not completely, but this is going to go all over what the silver that we just painted. So this is basically going to act as our wash. We're going to take some Skeleton Horde, and this is going to go on those pads on the top of his gloves. Then we're going to take some Gargax, Gargax sword, Gargax, again, ridiculous names. And that's just going to go all over the earth texture. And we're going to go back to that silver, we're going to do a very light dry brush on top of all the armor pieces. We're going to take some Beastie Brown and we're going to do a dry brush on that Gargrak Gargrak sewer uh, color. Take some white glue and some static grass and we're just going to put a little bit of that on there. And we're also going to put on a bit of a multicolored flock that I use. We're going to do some black and do a rim around the base and then I'm going to realize I forgot something and I'm going to take some electric blue here and this is going to go on the tiny little triangles on the top of his gloves and this guy is done. And all things considered for the quickness of this paint job he turned out pretty cool. I mean he's done he's ready we can go play with him. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out for the amount of time and effort I put into it. I would have kind of liked to have painted him in the color scheme from the first episode when he was kind of more patchwork, but this is now the recognizable version of him. Everybody knows that this is what he looks like. Plus it was going to be much quicker to paint. What do you guys think of the Mandalorian show so far? It seems like pretty much everybody really likes it in the Star Wars community and that doesn't happen often. I'm a big fan of it. I can't wait for season three. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. 
please remember to go back and watch the Cad Bane video and leave a comment and be a subscriber and you might be able to win the Cad Bane miniature I painted for that video and I'll send it out to you. Also remember to please like, share, subscribe, comment, all of the YouTube stuff. Either way, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.